Hello everyone, uh, today we're going to go over rooting the Meraki MR18 using the newer root method. This new root method is for newer Meraki MR18s that are running uh, firmwares based on build 24 and 25. Uh, for this method you will need a Meraki MR18, a UART adapter similar to the other root methods, uh, an Ethernet router that is used in this process, and a copy of the OpenWRT or LEDE firmware. Um, if you have never used UART before, the Meraki MR18 page on the OpenWRT wiki covers the pinout, which can be found here. Um, there's also a serial page if you've never used UART before that'll help you kind of get into it. Um, on top of that, the firmware for this one I will be using from my GitHub repo, which will be in the description of this video. Um, on top of that, you will want to take your MR18, tear it apart, and hook up UART, like I said, can be found here. Uh, once done, you'll need to get into it by console. So the first way to identify if this method will work on your device is to make sure it's on the right firmware version. Uh, in the description of this video, there will be a link to a blog post, which will have a list of confirmed working firmware versions. Uh, if you want to see if your firmware is on it, and if you don't know what firmware version you have, you can tell by looking at the boot log from your MR18, and it'll show during the boot process a boot build. So here we are on build 25, so this method should work. So for this to work, what you will need to do is you will need to take your MR18 and you will want to hook it up to the wired router you have. Uh, note that this router should not be hooked up to the internet. You can use any router, it just needs to give it a DHCP IP address, but it cannot be connected to the internet. You will also want to hook up your personal computer you are using for this method to flash to the exact same router. They need to be on the same broadcast domain. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to reset the Meraki. To do that, you hold down the reset button that is found next to the power port. Uh, you will want to hold down this button for about 10 seconds. When you start holding it, you will see the LED on the MR18 start to flash. You will want to continue to hold this button until the LED completely turns off. At this point, feel free to let go of the reset button and the device should reboot. So as we see, it has rebooted. So at this point in the process, we want to get the firmware ready for us to flash. So I already have downloaded it from my repo. Uh, it can be done by going to the releases page and then just downloading the latest one here. Uh, once downloaded, you will want to extract it. So here you can see that I have downloaded it and extracted it. Um, and there will be two files, an initRAMFS and a squashFS. You will also want to know the IP address of your computer. So here we can see my IP is 10.27.16.230. The next step is to start a local web server where these files are hosted. Uh, since I'm using Linux, I will use Python for this. Um, the important thing is to make sure that you do this with uh, port 80. The reason is, is for this exploit to initially work, you need to be using the standard HTTP port, so you will need to run as root. That is why I'm using sudo. So now I have a web server hosted on port 80 with the file. So. The process is very simple. After you've done the reset and you have everything wired, it should be as simple as typing in ODM firmware part two, then your IP address, which for me is here, port 80, and then the file name of the init RAMFS. Now that this is done, we need to boot this firmware. So to do that, what you'll want to do is you'll want to hold down 2 on your console and then reboot your device. Uh, to reboot it, you can either just press the reset button quick or unplug power and plug it back in. So at this point, we should then boot into an init RAMFS build of OpenWRT. It is important to note that your device is not yet fully flashed. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to unplug the MR18's Ethernet cable from the router and then plug your computer directly into the MR18. This is because we're going to get an IP address from the MR18 and then flash it from there. So if you go back to your computer, you can stop the web server, you can check, and you should now have an IP address from your local Meraki MR18. Uh, once you do, you can go to 192.168.1.1 to get to Lucy, and then you will want to go to Flash. From here, you will then want to select the SquashFS file that was included in the downloaded file you extracted earlier. Select that and press Flash. 
you'll then want to press proceed. And if we watch the UART, we can watch it update and reboot. And at this point, you can now enjoy.